Hey, welcome back to Sean's Boosted Garage. Uh, today, got another project on the go with my uh, 2003 uh, Mustang Mach 1. Uh, I've, been, I've been noticing that my coolant tank looks like it's getting warped or something from heat. So, um, so I see that a lot of people uh, end up swapping it out for like an aluminum one. Or sometimes even people go with a... Um, uh, like a one off a crown Vic. So that's what I did because it's actually a little bit smaller um, and uh, So I think it'll give me better access to the turbo and uh, if I get to get to my um, uh, wideband sensor or whatnot Yeah, okay, so here we go um, Here's what I'm talking about now. It's probably hard to see but it looks like it's starting to melt there a little bit and you can see it's sort of curved here a little bit so um, these are just plastic tanks and you know, they're just sort of, I think they're just made in two pieces and then melted together. So um, anyways, this one's looking like it's got a little deformation. So I don't want to take any chances um, of it possibly leaking or whatever. So I'm going to change it out. So, um, so here's the, here's the crown, whoops. Here's the one from the Crown Vic. Um, well, I'm hoping, I've seen some people do it, but I think it's just gonna fit right here. Hopefully that, that uh, bolt hole will line up with this stud here. And uh, it should bolt, hopefully it'll bolt up without much trouble. So uh, I'm sure I'll have to modify some things on it, of course, nothing ever really goes quite straightforward when you're uh, modifying things but anyways uh, as you see like it's going to take up much uh, much less as you can see it's not going to take up as much room as the, uh, the stock tank does and with my turbo being right there and then the uh, the wideband sensor is down there so it, uh, I think it's just going to allow me uh, a lot better room. So, anyways, we'll uh, we'll uh, get at um, getting this uh, old one off and get the new one on, and we'll see how it works out. Okay, so uh, of course there's some interference with this new tank. Um, you already see here. See here, there was a, uh, a little nub there, or whatever, a little tab. Um, I cut that off. I'm gonna have to cut this one off too. Um, and I can already tell that this is gonna end up. going to end up sitting kind of back a little further but if I can get that if I can get that out of the way that little piece right there this right here cut that off I think it'll give me some more room and I'll probably just have to make a little little bracket so anyways the idea is uh, hopefully I can get this down as close to this as possible because I don't want it to hit my roof or my uh my hood but um i think there's lots of room there anyway so it should be all right and uh but yeah if i can get this on there it opens up quite a bit of room here now and uh, i'm hoping too it'll just allow any heat that builds up here on the turbo to just have a better chance of uh escaping so anyways we'll see uh We'll see what happens. Be right back. Okay, so uh, I just got this piece of flat bar here. Uh, what this is, an uh, inch and a half or something like that. Um, this is what I'm going to use. Uh, <clears throat> first thing I did was uh, round off the corners. Um, should always do that just to keep from uh, possibly rub, having a sharp point to. Uh, rub through and make a hole or whatever and it just uh, saves your jab in your hand and all 
that stuff too. So anyways, um, and then the thing, the next thing, so I think you're going to have to try to put some kind of, uh, like a little bend in it. So, um, you can do this here right in the, right in the vise. And, um, I'm just going to, uh, go size it up on the car and see what I think I need. Um, go from there. Okay, so did some more trimming. Um, here's the uh, the radiator mount. I trimmed that back. You can see it was kind of like kind of like this one. I just trimmed. This is what this this is what it looked like before I trimmed it, and I took off like probably I don't know like a quarter inch or something, um, quarter inch piece off of there. Rounded it off, filed it, make sure you get rid of all the burrs and whatever. And and uh, anyways. Um, the, uh, it sits down better, sits down better now. Um, it's still hitting right there. There's nothing to do about that, but that's okay. I'm going to make a bracket and, uh, I'm going to make a bracket and maybe I'll put a piece of rubber right there. So it's not rubbing there. And, um, yeah, it's pretty good. And, uh, Got some clearance around the the battery cable, and I haven't tried if it's going to hit the hood, but uh, I'll, I'll get it mounted in place first and see if it does or not, but I think it's going to be okay. So, uh, yeah, I'll be right back. Okay, uh, let me grab this here again. A little change of plans. Um, I guess I can't make can't make a small enough kind of like offset or dog leg in that flat bar so anyways I got looking at is I think I can just I can just drill two holes in this flat bar and then I can add another nut here to sort of make up for that that uh, offset bend dog leg whatever you want to call it that I can't make in the flat bar um, so yeah I'm gonna try that out hopefully that will work and if not, uh, we'll come back and try something else. Okay, so my uh, original bracket's not going to work. It bolts up okay, but it's just it's just a little too tight. I think the hood. I think it hits the hood somewhere's on the uh, on the cap here. So if you actually just let it slide over, um, let's see here. If I actually just let it slide over. Um, it sits down a little better. I guess it uh, <clears throat> moves away from moves away from the fan. The only thing is that it's gonna kind of sit on the battery on top of the um, battery cable. So if I want to ever get the cable off, I'm gonna have to just take this bolt out which isn't a big deal. It'd be just one nut, actually. And just kind of lift it off and move it over to the side. So, anyways, um, I think that's what I'm going to do. So, I, of course, i got to 
I'm gonna remake, I'm gonna do another bracket. Um, and as you can see, it's gonna be an offset hole. And um, yeah, that's it. That's all I got to say about that, I guess. Uh, I guess someday, maybe if I ever relocate the battery to the trunk, um, I have seen some guys put this actual tank like right here, which it looks like it would fit ideally. Um, the only good thing about putting it here is that, I mean, like the hoses, they pretty much work. Like that one goes there. This one, it will fit there. So anyways, <clears throat> I'm going to do it this way. And uh, someday if I feel like I need to do it, mount it a different way, then I'll change it. Or maybe I'll go back to the stock one. But for right now, this is what I'm going to do. And I'll put some pieces of rubber where it might rub, like here and here, like right around here, right around there. Um, yeah. All right. See you in a few. Okay. Well, I'm back. Um, got a little ahead of myself. <laughs> End up getting the job finished off. Uh, you can see I have it all filled up. Uh, one thing I want to point out is that um, is that I had to extend this hose here um, because it it's a little bit short. I mean, you can pull it up and hold it in place and clamp it, but I just didn't want that that tension on it. And in case the clamp loosened off, then maybe the maybe the hose ended up pulling off. So what I did is that I just went to a uh, like hardware store and got a one inch um, barbed like coupler. So it's barbed on each end. It's one inch. And a couple hoses and a one inch, or sorry, a couple clamps and a one inch uh, piece of a heater hose and just extend it. So the, so the, uh, the coupler is between this piece and this piece. And then, and then of course, this is the, uh, the nipple that comes out of the, out of the tank. So yeah, so anyways, that works out all right. And it's not, uh, it's not touching the uh, O2 sensor. So you can see I get room to get at that now if I need to. Uh, with the boost controller I have, sometimes you need to um, take this uh, O2 sensor out and calibrate it, but you gotta do that in uh, free air. So you gotta take it out of the tube to, or out of the pipe to uh, do that. So that'll make it a lot easier. <clears throat> because before that would have been all covered up right here with the uh, old coolant tank. Um, and as far as mounting it goes, um, this is a 5 16 bolt. And I took the, uh, you know, the, the fittings that go, or the yeah, the uh, fastener that goes in here, I took them out and just put a 5 16 bolt up there. And it's kind of slotted, so I, it's, it's favored towards that side. And um, I drilled... Uh, I drilled out this, um, I just made this bracket out of a piece of flat bar, drilled out a couple holes. This one's a 5 16 hole, this one's a quarter inch hole, and uh, just bolted it down. So, at, at first, originally I had a, um, I had a, a nut underneath there to, to hold this stud in, and then, and then the bracket on top of that nut, and then another nut to sort of sandwich it, but um, I found it was, uh, it seemed like it was hitting the the hood so uh, I dropped it down I, I took that nut out uh, it makes it a little more difficult to um, put the tank on but you know you can still you can still get your hand under there and and hold the bolt while you tighten it up um, what else was there I think that's it really I mean I gotta I gotta take it apart again because uh, I want to paint that bracket and some of the paints coming off the um, Read the rad support same with uh, over here so I want to uh, want to be able to touch those up and uh, and I'll probably put some maybe something there to keep it from rubbing and something right there a piece of rubber or a piece of foam or something just to keep it from rubbing hopefully it won't uh, won't wear a spot through and uh, yeah, that's about it. Um, it uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep it long term. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. But um, yeah, so far, so good. It uh, it fits okay. I wish I wish I could get it down a little bit lower. 
I have an aftermarket um, aftermarket fan, and I, and I have the fan favored over to that side because you can see the clearance between the, the uh, radiator and the turbo is that it's tight. So uh, these are all the things when you uh, when you uh, start modifying your car, like you gotta you gotta sort of adapt and overcome as you go. So, anyways, as I said, uh, I think this is it. It's pretty good. I'll leave it as it is. Try it out for the summer, and um, and if it's uh, no good or I don't like it or whatever, I can go back to the stock one. Or maybe go back to, uh, or to, or go and buy a an aluminum coolant tank that goes over here. But but honestly, I like having the uh, access to uh, that O2 sensor down there, and it's just nicer having this open too. A little a uh, little better air movement through there. So, anyways, uh, thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe, and uh, we'll talk to you next time.